Hi, I'm Barry Sandoval, and I think you already know my two friends here, Detective Comics number 27 and Action Comics number 1. These are just two of over 1,200 lots in the current auction. Now, the Action 1 I've got in front of me is the well-known court case copy. You can read the whole story of that on the website. The image you're about to see here is a different Action 1, and how nice is that to be able to talk about multiple Action 1s. This one is the first comic you'll see if you open up the bound volumes of number 1 to 24 that we're offering. An amazing experience to open it up and see this as the first comic. You can see what a very sharp copy it is. We've got all 24 covers pictured on the website uh, from this volume, but just to whet your appetite here on the next image, that's action number seven. As you probably know, that's the second cover appearance of Superman, and uh, the others in the volume are equally sharp. Just to give you an idea of the page quality, you can see on this next photo, the book on the bottom where you see the page quality is even nicer, that's the one with number one to 12, which are the most valuable issues. So uh, you can read all about it on the, uh, on the website. Uh, I'd say these are a unique opportunity. Another very impressive bound volume for a different reason is this one here of early Captain America comics. What's really interesting here is the provenance. This is from Jack Kirby's personal collection. And look what we have here on the next image. It's Kirby original art drawn on the front papers. All four of the front and end papers have original Kirby drawings. And on this one in the corner, you can see his distinctive handwriting. Uh, saying property of Rosalind Kirby, who was, of course, uh, Jack Kirby's wife. Now let's go even earlier in the Golden Age, from uh, late 30s, early 40s, back to 1937. Here's a very tough-to-find book in Detective Comics number one. And it's always been considered quite a rarity. And on the next image, what we think is actually an even tougher-to-find issue, Detective Comics number two. This is one of the finest copies known to exist of that one. Now, speaking of hard-to-find books, I'll go out on a limb and call this next one the scarcest issue of Marvel Mystery Comics. This is number five, an issue we've only offered on very, very few occasions. Uh, the grade is just a 4.5, but only three copies have been graded higher by CGC, so this one's going to be tough to pass up. On the Silver Age front, we're introducing the Levittown Collection, which is an original owner Silver Age collection. Great Green Lantern number one, Great Justice League run, and this is probably the crown jewel right here, Justice League of America number three. This one's always been tough and high grade because of the black cover, so I think you'll be impressed by that one. On our next image, something I'll bet most of you have never seen in person, it's issue number one of the Shadow Pulp magazine, one of the most desirable pulps in existence, and uh, it's the first hero pulp ever made and the first copy we've ever had the privilege to offer. Now, if you like the undergrounds, your favorite lot is going to be this one here. Zap Comics number one, first printing, of course, near mint 9.4. We think this is going to make a run at the new record price for an underground comic. And next, I want to show you the Mile High Pedigree copy of Adventure Comics number 51. We have more than 100 Mile High Pedigree comics in this auction, so it was a tough choice to pick only one to show you. But if you know about that collection, you know what superb Golden Age books those are. And speaking of the Mile Highs, if you've been collecting for any length of time, you know that they're the greatest comic collection of all time, and that they're also known as the Edgar Church Collection. Well, Edgar Church collected comics because he was a commercial artist, and we've actually got some of his artwork in the sale, which you can check out right here. A unique item and uh, something you're not going to uh, not going to see very often. Um, getting back to the uh, professional comic artists, we have all the big names there too. Here's one of the best artists ever to draw Batman, and it's Dick Sprang from Detective Number 572. All the best villains are there with the Joker, Penguin, Two Face, etc., and of course the good guys too. Now, on our next uh, image, this is John Buscema. It's the cover to Adventures, uh, Avengers 44, and it's in the larger twice-up size. As you probably know, the twice-up Silver Age Marvel covers are, are extremely difficult to find. There are not many of those out there. Next image, let's take it to the 80s. This is Frank Miller, of course, Daredevil uh, number 188 cover, co-starring The Black Widow. On our next image, it's Neil Adams, the cover to Detective Comics number 415. 
And the next image is also Neil Adams, Green Lantern and Green Arrow. This was drawn for one of the DC calendars. I'm sure you're familiar with this image, uh, inked by the late uh, Dick Giordano and uh, one of my uh, favorite Adams uh, pieces that we've uh, had in our auctions. And the next image, it's Dave Cockrum, the cover for X-Men number 156. And uh, of course, the characters there are uh, Joining the X-Men are Corsair and those uh, swashbuckling guys, uh, the Star Jammers. Well, this was only about one and a half percent of our auction, so those were some of my favorites. I'm sure you'll have your own, but enjoy browsing the entire selection at HA.com.